15 years here uh, in the Bahamas. Uh, well, my name is uh, Father Tom Brislin. Uh, I was ordained in 1968. When I first came and I was the director of the retreat house in Maya Center, I stayed there for four years. And then I went to Sacred Heart Parish, which is uh, the, the second Catholic church built here in Nassau. And while I was there, it was very fruitful years. The church was renovated and enlarged. I went back to Jamaica West Indies for four years. However, as the Bahamians put it, you know, I had sand in my shoes. So I, I came back to the Bahamas. So I've been here at Holy Family now for uh, a little over five years. Uh, a new church has been built. It, it's really a, has been a humbling experience because it's, it's a beautiful uh, structure. It's a wonderful parish, many, all local Bahamians. When I was at Sacred Heart, I probably had uh, maybe 30 different nationalities there, many tourists, because it was right across the bridge from Paradise Island. And, you know, by the way, Paradise Island is very, very different from the Bahamas in general. You know, many people see uh, those ads on a TV of uh, Paradise Island, they think, well, that's the Bahamas. Well, it really isn't. It's just one aspect of the Bahamas. But here at, at Holy Family, really, I have all local people. And they're, they're wonderful, they're very gifted, talented people. The church is very bright, lots of windows, lots of natural light. Uh, there's a window, a stained glass window in the back, separating uh, the main body of the church from the Blessed Sacrament Chapel. When it came time for the renovation of the church, we sent away a copy of this, uh, of this painting uh, and it's now a stained glass uh, separating the Blessed Sacrament Chapel from, uh, from the main church. Uh, the small chapel, Blessed Sacrament Chapel, that holds a good 80 people and we'll have morning mass in there and it's a good attendance. Uh, the old church uh, was a very simple building, no AC and the people waited many years for the new church so they're, they're delighted with it at this point. And it's, uh, it's a growing parish. It's the old church we use for one hall now, and plus the other hall contains a kitchen and a gathering center, plus the offices. So we have lots of room here. The dedication in September, uh, that, was a, that was a big event for uh, the Bahamian Catholic Church. The Sacred Heart, uh, that is really an historical building. So when Archbishop Burke said we're going to renovate there, uh, it, was, it was a privilege to be there at that time. Basically, uh, the front section um, is somewhat untouched, other than the roof and the floor, so to speak. And then a big back section was put on. And uh, a number of uh, tourists, of course, come there for Mass because it's right across the bridge from Paradise Island. At the old cathedral, which, which goes way, way back, and then the, the new cathedral, Archbishop Burke put that up. Yeah, well, you know, the church is beautiful, but, you know, the, the, the people are the church, huh? They have their own story, and, uh, and they're proud to be Bahamian. And there's a close relationship between the United States and the Bahamas. Uh. There have been a number of passionists down here over the years that came from missions at Sacred Heart and also here at Holy Family. Uh, Vincent Youngberg, Victor Holgren, Brother Andre, uh, Edward... Wolanski, uh, Peter Grace, uh, Paul Fagan had, uh, has been here. So a number of passionists have been here over the years. You know. but you're always welcome to come down. I have a nice spare room, if not two. And uh, I'll give you some peas and rice and some conch chowder. <laughs>